what's the outcome here? You want to guide your prospects to better outcomes. That's ultimately the goal, right? You want to be like Yoda. You don't want to be like Luke Skywalker here. You're not the hero. You want to be Yoda. You want to corral all of your real estate agents and you want to say, hey, we're going to go crush it this quarter. We've got you know, we've got the we've got Q4 2020 coming up. We've got the rest of 2021 coming up. Let's do some planning. Here's how we're going to implement it. Let's make this happen. You want to guide them through the process. And by you enabling your agents to do better, I guarantee that their prospects will start closing faster. And as a result, your agents are what? They're these four words. They're more visible to the marketplace because they've created more trust and more productive. They're focused on their clients. They've become more personal in their emails, which means they're focused on their clients and they're focused on their clients. <laughs> I think this is a pretty win-win-win situation. Let's talk about the second component of this funnel, which is where now the client is in consideration mode. Well, we kind of alluded to this, but let's make it more clear. I want to use very hyper-local content. And I want to send Amy the client updates and I want to stay in touch with her on a regular basis. That's what's really going to win the game for me as a real estate agent. Again, keeping in mind, hyper local is the key word here. Hyper. I want to split test that content. Okay, we talked about how Amy is client A and Abby is client B and how both folks need specific personalized content. We can also segment our audiences and you can do this within Zap CRM. So let's talk about text for a second. And I know this, the text to game can be kind of interesting, but I want to bring it to your attention because it makes a lot of sense. Now, here's the deal. I'm using Textedly as an example. You can start segmenting your lists accordingly. The same way that you would segment a list in Zap CRM, and the same way that you would say, hey, there's Amy and Abby, you can segment by the phone number who is in what bucket and send them messages accordingly. And I think that's super important. Here's some interesting statistics about text messages. 62% of all home buyers preferred their real estate agent send property information via text message. And if you're not sold yet on it, guess what? It's staring you in the face. Text message response rates are four times better than that of email response rates. It's insane. So of course, text messaging needs to be a part of your overall strategy. So here's the deal. The question then is, how do I empower my real estate agents to send higher quality text messages? This is, a, this is an example of a text message that's super boring. Please don't, ever, please don't ever send something like this. Here's something that's a little better. Hi, John, I just recorded a video with Amanda, who's the president of the elementary school your son will be attending. Click here, boom, add the YouTube link, and what are you doing now? Your, real, your team, is building and establishing that reliability and credibility as part of that trust factor, which feeds into the overall sales funnel. And then a week later, you can have a notification that goes out and says, hey, John, you know, I heard you had an amazing meeting with Amanda. And that's so awesome. Feel free to reach out should you need anything else. That's a reminder. 